In the crypto market, there is bear and bull, greed and fear. In what appears to be a bear market, why are we gripped in fear? From everything in the market right now, to include the Luna collapse, Bitcoin hovering around $30,000, and Ethereum around $1,800, the Fed raising interest rates, and just general activities outside of our control in the country and around the world, they are causing the fear and greed index to be at its highest side, highest on the fear side of that gauge. So you might be wondering, since November of 2021, has, why has everything been headed south? Let's look at a couple things. First off, when we look at, at Bitcoin, at BTC, we go back here and look at November of 2021 and we notice that its all-time high was in this general area. We're at 68,860, almost 69,000 right there. And that's like its highest point ever. And it hit that in November of 2021. Now, Shirio was released in uh, October of 2021. And not long after its release, it hit its all-time high along with Bitcoin. There was a lot of excitement going on in the world of crypto. And a lot of things have happened since then. You see in this in this chart how Bitcoin has come slowly down. And right now we're at 30,691. 30, well, when we look at Shirio, it's not all that, all that different. Let's go look here. If we go look at, at, at the one-year chart, which we're not, it hasn't even, Shirio hasn't even been out a year yet. We see that it jumps up to, uh, was it 10 zeros? Nine, like it loses a zero there. So it's nine zeros, one, four, two right there at its highest. And then we gain that zero back and we've done this kind of drop off with Bitcoin along with it. And we're down here now at 11 zeros. Um, we're at 11 zeros 95, which is, you know, we've been kind of like, if you look at this chart overall, we've been kind of like, f not necessarily flat, but we haven't been dropping large chunks either. We've had a couple down periods, uh, and then come back up, but we're, we're not, we're not like falling off, like doing these ups and downs, like, like Bitcoin is. Or like some of the other uh, tokens are, and that just goes to show that, that this is our support line. This is where our support level is. Yeah, it's been slowly going down, but as soon as Bitcoin and Ethereum start to turn it around, uh, they are going to we're going to see a resurgence in the market. When will that happen? We don't know, but everything has dropped from Shiba Inu to Saitama to Shirio to many altcoins not to include Bitcoin and Ethereum. While the answer is technically hard to decipher in why all of this has dropped and, and what has caused this, there's many factors that affect the market. And one aspect is also the tech tech sector where parts and gold and everything that that is needed for the tech sector has been hard to come across. And the tech sector and Bitcoin have been closely tied to each other. Also, Bitcoin has clearly mirrored, closely mirrored NASDAQ in the latest month. As you can see with Bitcoin at, at 30665 at the time of this recording. And Ethereum is at like 1900 I believe that is. Let's go, let's go check that. Let's go see where, where Ethereum is. Ethereum is at 1924 It's up 7% on the day. Bitcoin is up 5% for the day. So you see uh, there is some green in the market as of today. Uh, Shiba Inu is up 4.6%. So we're seeing some green in the market. We're up to 1.28 trillion. It was at 1.27 trillion this morning. So we're seeing an increase in the overall market. But with Bit let's see, with Bitcoin at 36.65, and Ethereum at 1900, and altcoins typically follow 
the path of what Ethereum and Bitcoin are doing, it, it's going to be some time before we see a resurgence towards the all-time high. As those who regularly follow this channel, you may even be wondering what to do in the meantime. While I can't necessarily provide financial advice and tell you what to do, I just can tell you that you need to do some research and find out what the best mix of things is for you. Just know that I'm not selling Shurio. I'm not selling my Ethereum or uh, ApeCoin or I can't say I'm not selling Shiba because I've sold some Shiba. Um, but it's because I've moved it in, around in the different market areas. But um, my confidence in Shurio is still sky high because I believe in the overall project. But just know that I'm not selling that spe specific coin and many other coins I'm holding as well. For those who typically follow my channel and follow Shirio, not long after it launched, we saw, like I just talked about, it's all-time high on November 7th. And we've seen moments of decline, followed by moments of the Shirio price holding a specific price point with an occasional pump. Currently, we're at 11 zeros 97 or 95, and we could drop a zero at any time. But since February of 2022, Shirio has dipped little, but maintains a general area between 10, 12, and 11, 9. Um, and we've been staying in this general area because that's where our support line is. If we decide, if Shirio does go any lower, it's because Bitcoin and Ethereum are going along are going lower along with other tech stocks I look forward to one of the, the one of the things for excitement for Shirio is going to be when the alpha game release comes out and that should be hopefully pretty soon and that'll provide excitement all of its own for the coin and for Shirio and for everything involved from the NFTs to the avatars to everything along with it just know that we've we're over seven thousand NFTs sold, so we're less than less than three thousand uh, uh, avatars available. Sh I should say there's seven thousand avatars sold, not NFTs. There's <laughs> NFTs are way out there. All right, but um, but what's going to be excitement exciting is is if the Shirio developers time it just right. Then we could be releasing the they could be releasing the beta version of Shirio right at the very time that Bitcoin and Ethereum start to rise again later this year or early in 2023. And when that happens, the price of Shirio will go up. The and, and there'll be so much excitement around the release of the beta version and the game that's come out to play that that'll also increase the coin value because many people will be using it to mint or buy uh, the the game NFTs and Shirioverse land and other things involved in Shirio. So there's a lot of stuff to go along with this. So if you've enjoyed this video and you received value from it, please hit that like button and consider subscribing. 500 subscribers and I'm giving away two Founders Packs. We have 73 subscribers to go. And to learn more sh about Shirio, click these videos over there. And peace out. Be blessed. See you guys on the next one.